Classically, it's been thought that the lung cannot be ultrasounded. In fact, that's not true. We can use ultrasound very easily to rule out a pneumothorax. I'm going to show you, using two different transducers, how we can see the lung pleural line to exclude the presence of a pneumothorax. We're going to start with our transducers. We have two different choices of transducers. We have our phased array transducer and a linear array transducer. If you're doing this as part of the FAST exam, most likely you've already have a phased array transducer in your hand. Therefore, I'm going to go ahead and show you what the images look like using a phased array transducer. The exam type has already been set up in an abdominal preset, and so we're ready to start scanning. Now, the area that we're going to scan is an area where we're going to expect air to collect in the presence of a pneumothorax. That would be the most anterior aspect of the lung. So if you look at our model right here, we would expect air to collect more likely in the anterior surface than more posteriorly. Therefore, when I do my scanning, I'm going to scan about mid-clavicular line at the most anterior area of the patient's body. So we're going to go ahead and start scanning. Here's our uh, probe uh, marker right here. We're going to aim that toward the patient's head and I'm scanning right now in a, in a sagittal fashion. I'm going to turn my gain up a little bit and first thing we're going to recognize that our depth is too deep. Remember what we're scanning now is really superficial. We're looking at the lung surface. So I'm going to decrease our depth so we can see the lung surface quite easily. Now what we're looking at here on the screen is a classic shimmering line that you see with, two, with the plural surface, that being the parietal and the visceral uh, plural surface rubbing against each other. So we see a rib here on the left, we see another rib to the right, and in the center is a line which is horizontal, and we see shimmering. That presence of that shimmering, as well as very small tiny comet tails that are coming from the posterior aspect of that, excludes the presence of a pneumothorax. If you have time, you want to use your linear array transducer. This transducer does high frequency imaging and allows you to do much better imaging of superficial structures. So we're going to get a lot better quality, high resolution pictures of the pleural line. So here's our transducer that I've chosen. This is the marker here right now. And I'm going to go ahead and put a little gel here. Now I'm going to cut sagittally at the highest point in this chest in about the mid-clavicular line. And I notice to the left of the screen is a rib right here, and we see another rib right here. And in between the two, we see the pleural line. And as he takes a breath, we see shimmering. These are the two surfaces of the lung, the visceral surface and the parietal surface rubbing together. We also see little tiny white lines, these are little comet tail lines, which also show that both surfaces are touching together. If you see this, pattern, you have reliably excluded a pneumothorax. You can see in this model that uh, we can easily see the rib here anteriorly and another one more inferiorly, and we see the pleural line easily here in the middle. We see shimmering. Now, you may want to document this in a still pattern, and it's very easy to do by just activating the M mode. We hit the M mode key here, and we put the the M mode marker through the center of the pleural line where we see shimmering and we hit M mode again and what we see now is a pattern that's called the seashore sign and I'm going to freeze this so now we have a frozen image of the M mode through the pleural line and we see the shimmering line here and we see here a classic seashore sign and when you see this this is still documentation of exclusion of a pneumothorax if you do your exam in the mid-clavicular line at the most anterior portion of the, the chest and you see a good shimmering line, then you've ruled out a pneumothorax. If you don't see any shimmering line, then you most likely are dealing with a patient with a pneumothorax. You can then take your transducer and move it to the patient's left or to his right and more superior and inferior to get a qualitative size of the pneumothorax you're dealing with.